All right. Mesiata Deshmaya, Perik Hey, Valdik. Perik Hey Lemaisa uh, is, starts off a little bit complicated. I apologize, we're going to have to stop in the middle of the Perik. I wanted to finish the whole Perik in one, one go, but it's not Shaykh. It's not Shaykh to do that, and that means I've been running through it, which is it's not Kadai. Rather do it slowly and properly, and understand it, even if you have to have it take a, little bit, a week's break. So, Akaponim, this Perik over here, we're going to learn the Gavaldiga Maila of learning Torah compared to any other mitzvah that exists. It's unbelievable. It's, it's amazing how you find similar, similar things in the, in the Nefesh HaChaim from Chaim Veloshin. You learn the Nefesh HaChaim, you learn Balatanya. It's almost the Zalbazach in different words. The Maila of Limud Torah in the Balatanya is unbelievable. So in this, cha- in this parak is going to mamish learn about the uh, Maila of Limud Torah. Let's begin. It's going to talk about the brain and the understanding. Ulo Teisefes Be'er Be'er Heitiv Loshin Tfisa. Shomer Elio, we said, we quoted last time and time before, in the previous parak, Les Machshova Tfisa Boch, that when it comes to Rabbi Shalom, there is no tfisa, there's no grabbing, right? There's no thought that can grasp, grasp the Rabbi Shalom. Okay? Now, it's, it's, it's not shaykh. Our brains are so limited, we cannot understand and comprehend fully the Rabbi Shalom. It doesn't work. It doesn't happen. Now, what he's going to explain now is that to some degree, a person can be Tefis Hashem, and that is when a person learns Torah. Hine. Kol Seichel. When you try to understand something, when you try to figure out what's pshat, Are you with me? Basically what he means is as follows. When you try to understand something, so... What happens is the seichel surrounds it. You, uh, you understand it from all dimensions, right? It goes inside the person. Once you've analyzed something, it can then become absorbed within you. Okay, we'll explain more. You'll see. Vegam haseichel melubash umuskal b'shashem asigoy v'tovsoy b'seichloi. Okay, which means while your mind is processing the idea, your mind is also absorbing the idea. Okay? I'll give you an example. I heard this, Marshall. Imagine, imagine you walk into a brand new place, a new country, new culture, completely different materials than you've ever seen before. Okay? Now, you know what it's like when you greet someone. A handshake, a hug, a smile, whatever it could be. That's how you greet people. You walk into this country, you walk into this machine in the place, and everyone's spitting in each other's faces. And you're like, huh? What's going on a bit? And someone explains to you, no, here, this is how they greet people. They're like, uh, okay, that means what? It means you've taken in what they said, but you haven't fully grasped what the, what the understanding is. It's not absorbed. It's not going in, right? You, you can't, in what they call in English, you can't wrap your head around it. That's Mamash the Lashon of the Balatanya. You can't wrap your brain, you can't muck it, you can't wrap, surround your brain around an idea that basically doesn't make any sense. You can't understand what's going on over here. Derech Marshall, okay? Kishadam may even a masik is a halacha by Mishnah. Person understands, he's tried to comprehend a halacha in a Mishnah. Oi be Gemara, la shura boya. Have a sikhloi toifus or makibosa. His seichel, his brain is able to wrap around it. He can chop it, he can absorb it, he can comprehend it. Vagam sikhloi malubosh baba oisa shah. Not only once your intellect grasps it, you become engulfed in it at that time, and your brain is absorbed within it over there. So, in other words, while your brain is trying to absorb an idea, right, and fully absorb it, when a person learns Torah and tries to understand something, we've said in a previous parak, if you remember, Torah and the Rabbi Nishla, and is Kul Echad, it's one thing. So, Torah is the only thing that can fully absorb in your mind, you can comprehend something, which means what's, what he's trying to get at is, is you're basically absorbing Hashem, so to speak. You're wrapping your mind, your seichel, your intellect, around the Rabbi Nishalaylam. And that's an unbelievable thing. Vihine. Halacha zu hi chachmasoi rutsoi nishal HaKadosh Baruch Halacha. And by the way, when he means halacha, he means actual halacha, practical halacha lamaisa. Is the chachma and the rutsoi nai of the Rabbi Nishal. What's this double lashon? Chachma and rutsoi. So you can have one without the other. For example, let's say you want to build a house. And you want the second story, the second floor, to be open plan. There should be like no ceiling there, nothing there. I want it to be open. And the builder 
or the architect, whatever, says to you, no, 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 the house is not going to work. It's not going to stand. So, you know, so I'll put some pillars in there. I'm not excited about it. I'll put some pillars in there to keep it up, right? That means that house was built, the Chochmah, but not with my Rotson. My Rotson would be that there's no floor. But I realize it's not going to happen, so I have to do it with the Chochmah in that case, right? It means that sometimes the Chochmah has to take precedence. It's, it's, it's overpowering the Rotson if the Rotson doesn't make sense in the over there. So when we describe the Torah, it's not just the Chochmah of Hashem. People say Torah is Chochmah Hashem. It's not true. It's Chochmah V'Rotson Hashem. And we've said that a few times as well. Because inside it is the Chochmah of Hashem, the wisdom of Hashem, but also the Rotson Hashem, what Hashem wants. So again, the Hine. Halocha Zuhi, Chochmah S'Ritsoyne Shalai Kaddish Baruch Hu, Sha'olav Ritsoyne. Shaka Shayit Moim Ruven Kach V'Kach, Ruven Tain is Azoi, Derech Marshal. This is the psak in this case, right? Like Rabbi Shazili Rubinstein, that song from the, the Shiva used to say, when the Mishnah says in, in Bon Metzia, right, Eile Metzias, right? I'm sorry, not Eile Metzias, by, um, by the Perik of Bon Metzia, talking about uh, Talas, no? Shnaimak Sebetalas, Shkoyach. Shnaimak Sebetalas, Zer Oimer, Kula Shali, Vizer Oimer, Kula Shali. Each one says, Anima Sesia, I found it and it's fully mine. HaKadosh Baruch Hu Oimer Yachleiku. It's the Rabbani Shalom that's talking through Halacha. HaKadosh Baruch is talking through the practical Halacha that we learn. Ah, you'll tell me I'm learning things that don't necessarily come. to some practicalities. If this is what came up in the Rabbani Shalom's Chochman Rotson, Sheim, if Yitoin Zekach, he tain is Azoi, Ve'a Zekach, and he tain is Azoi, Yeh Apsat Kach, this is what comes out. Hare, Kesha Odom Yehdeya, Umasig Besichloi, Psak Zekach, Locha Harucha Bemishna, Oi Gemara Upoiskim, Hare Zemasig Vetoifes, Umakib Besichloi, Ritsoinoi, Vechach Masoi, Shalai Kodesh Baruch Hu, Delas Machshav Atvisa Bey, Velo Ritsoinoi, Chal Masoi, Ki Im, so we're going to go so much. Kiim is labshon som ba'alochas aruchas defanenu. The gam sichle melubash behem. Meaning, what he's telling you is there's a certain mila when a person learns something. Not only does he understand it and comprehend it, but it comes absorbed in him. It's like when, for example, when you put a, a ball in a box. So the ball is wrapped. It's immersed in the box. It's surrounded by the box, but the box is not surrounded in the ball. When it comes to Torah Hashem, when it comes to learning the Rabbani Shem's Torah, and we try to understand something, we try to wrap our head around an understanding of a, of a Psak in Halacha. So what's happening is, is number one, we are wrapping ourselves around that idea, but it is becoming wrapped and engulfed within us also. And what is that Torah? That Torah, as we said, is the Rabbani Shalom. So, so what he's saying over here is, even though less machshava tfisabach, it's not shayach to chap the rabbi shalolam, to grasp the rabbi shalolam, it is when you learn Torah. When you learn Torah, you're mamish absorbing Torah Hashem, the Chochmas Hashem, the Ratzon Hashem, that's going inside you, and it's becoming part of you, and you are becoming a part of Him. And that's Tafka Halacha, by the way. Too. That's the Maila of Halacha. It has that Gavaldiga Maila, the Baratan is very into that, is, is, is specifically because it's the Rabbani Shalom talking. When you learn a Sif and Shulchan Aruch, it's not some, this is what comes out of the Gemara. This is Ratzon Hashem, this is Chochmas Hashem. And when you try to understand it, it becomes a Chelik of you. And you literally be able to grasp the Rabbani Shalom. It's a yichud that there's nothing like it. Meaning there is nothing else physically that you are engulfing, but yet at the same time being engulfed by it. And the only thing that applies to that is Torah. Torah is the only thing that you can become engulfed in it and you are engulfed in the Torah. That is the only thing. And that is what he's going to say afterwards, which Mitzvah Hashem we're going to do. But as Hashem, <laughs> just over a week, we'll get there, but Hashem, we're going to finish up. But I don't want to rush to the rest of the parable also because it's important to understand how it is when a person learns Torah, it literally, he's toifus the Rabbi Nishlonim. He's, under, he's, he's becoming engulfed. He's wrapping his brain. He's wrapping his mind around Torah Hashem. And since the Torah and the Rabbi Nishlonim is one, we must become one with the Rabbi Nishlonim. It's the highest form, as he'll explain. Be'ez Hashem, Be'ez everyone.